Mark Goeth. And let's bring Mark up. Hey, Mark, great to see you. Hey, Ross, uh, great to see you again. It's uh, It's been a little while, but uh, always uh, happy to be a part of the show. Yeah, and uh, you know you're with such a great product. It's it's great to have you back on again. Um, whenever we do Switcher Studio, I think I've told you this before. It's always some of the more popular episodes. Um, tell us what's going on. What's the latest? Uh, I know there's some exciting updates coming up with uh, Switcher Studio. Yeah, so uh, Switcher Studio 4.0 just hit uh, about a week, a little over a week ago. Uh, we have some new and, you know, really kind of exciting features um, that uh, have been something that our, our users have wanted for a while, and, uh, and we just recently uh, rolled that out. So uh, with the new release on Switcher Studio 4.0, uh, we have kind of two big uh, features uh, that were built in, the biggest one being uh, video chat, uh, essentially. So previously with Switcher Studio, uh, you are required to connect all the devices over the same wireless network. Uh, now you're able to bring a guest in from a remote location uh, just by simply sending them a URL uh, where they can join the broadcast uh, and not have to be on the same uh, same network. So uh, this also gives you the ability to uh, kind of step outside uh, the iOS box a little bit uh, and use other devices uh, we've tested it on Android. Uh, basically, any device that has a, uh, an internet browser uh, connection as well as a camera, you can bring a guest in uh, from any location now. So you, if you have, say, an, an Android phone or you're on an iOS phone and you're not on the same Wi-Fi network, you just turn on your camera or you hit a link and then turn on your camera and there you are in the, uh, the Switcher Studio uh, produced broadcast. Exactly. So uh, you'll you'll initiate essentially a, a video call uh, from your switcherstudio.com uh, dashboard. Uh, you'll invite that person in. You'll send them a link. Any you know you can send it to them via chat or you know instant message, email, you know text, whatever. Right. Uh, you know any way that they're able to uh, get that link, uh, they'll basically go to the link on their device. Uh, when they go to the the room, essentially. Uh, it's going to be a lot like the the same type of uh, you know look and feel that you use. It looks like when you come into Streamyard, you're going to select your camera, whether it's right. front or rear facing. If you're on a mobile device, uh, or if you've got maybe a built-in webcam or a professional webcam, you can select the different cam uh, as well as your audio uh, input. Uh, once you've selected that, you'll click essentially join, uh, and then on your Switcher Studio. Uh, interface that that you're running either on your I iPad or iPhone, you'll go to the video chat section and, and toggle it on, and then you'll be able to see the uh, the participants uh, in there and basically bring them in and do your normal uh, Switcher Studio production, but having someone that's not uh, you know remotely close to where you're at. Oh, I mean, I love this. I mean, this takes mobile video production to to a whole nother level uh, using Switcher Studio. And for the for the person producing the broadcast, um, when they bring that video and audio in, it just I mean, like, it, it, say they have a two box set up or they have a picture in picture or whatever. I mean, does the picture just kind of resize to fit that or do you have to do some cropping and moving around as the producer in order to get that remote video in the right in the right space? No, it should automatically just uh, fit in the box. Um, we have with with Switcher, you have the ability to uh, either select, you know, turn on center or turn off center. Uh, you know, so if you're doing a multi view with Switcher, where you know with Switcher you can have up to four people or four camera sources, right? Uh, four sources on screen at once. Uh, so what we always recommend is to have the the center option turned on, so the the person's camera feed, they're centered directly in that multi-view box. Um, so, you know, you can essentially do it that way, but as long as they're, you know, essentially centered in uh, in the camera feed that they're sending to you, you'll they'll fit within the confines of that, uh, that multi-view effect. Well, that, that's fantastic. So that means you don't have to do any cropping while you're live. They'll always be centered uh in that frame so that's that's terrific um just give everybody an overview in case some people are new to switcher studio i started right into the heart of the update 
Um, I know not everybody has uh, played around with Switcher Studio or is not using it yet. So for those who might be new to it or considering joining, uh, you know, subscribing, doing a trial, uh, talk about just a brief intro to what it is and, and, and why people should uh, take a look at it. Yeah, absolutely. So Switcher Studio is a video production studio in your pocket. Uh, we allow you to use iOS devices uh, and connect up to nine devices uh, wirelessly to one central uh, hub, if you will, uh, where you're doing all of the mixing, switching, producing, editing, directing on the fly. But you're able to bring in your own custom graphics, logos, photos, videos, uh, and just create a professional, professional uh, production, uh, either live or recorded. Uh, and publish that to Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, custom RTMP. Uh, so we support just about uh, every uh, social platform uh, that there is out there. Uh, but we do have uh, the easy button when it comes to Facebook and YouTube, simply putting in your uh, username and password for Facebook and YouTube and logging in uh, and getting access to you know any page or pages that you have uh, administrative control over to stream to. So. Uh, our whole goal is making uh, professional video easy, uh, mm -hmm. making uh, essentially mobile professional video easy, uh, and being able to take a mobile studio with you wherever you go uh, and, and be able to create and, and make video uh, more frequent, uh, right. as well as uh, you know continue to have that professional level uh, that you're used to uh, if you're in a studio setting as well. Yeah. And I mean, it's great to be able to travel light, you know, and be able to take phones with you instead of uh, loading up your bag with cameras and switchers and all that kind of, uh, you know, major gear. Um, one of the issues that, you know, we typically run into when we're live streaming on the road is uh, hotel Wi-Fi, conference Wi-Fi, uh, event Wi-Fi is often a challenge. What are some of the things that um, you do or you recommend your, your clients do when you work with, you know, some of the customers uh, who do that kind of stuff? What do you recommend they do in order to be able to get the best possible broadcast? Yeah, so generally everybody um, that is doing this, you know, for a living or, you know, for professionally, they are they're bringing their own they're bringing their own Wi-Fi. Uh, and bringing your own Wi-Fi could be uh, as simple as a hotspot uh, that you're running your production off of, uh, using your phone uh, as a hotspot, uh, using a device like a, a live view device uh, that uh, is basically using the, the cellular signal to create your own uh, Wi-Fi network, or getting a hard line uh, from the venue, uh, connecting it into some sort of uh, Google router. Uh, I actually have a very old uh, airport extreme that's probably eight years old that I still use uh, for creating uh, my own network. Uh, when you know, when I go to a, a, a venue like that, uh, I'll just get a drop uh, from them and then I'll create my own network to make sure that, uh, you know, I'm not competing with uh, all the other attendees that are on the the public Wi-Fi or the the conference Wi-Fi. So there's a variety of different ways to do it, but we always uh, kind of recommend uh, if you have the the ability to to bring your own. So you, you mentioned uh, Live U, and we're huge fans of Live U. They've been uh, guests on the show probably almost as much as Switcher Studio has. And uh, one of the things that um, came to mind is. So you can basically take that main iPad or main iPhone that you're producing the show with, right? And you can run a uh, an HDMI, the Lightning cable into uh, into like the Live View Solo, and then stream it with their cellular bonding capability. But you can put all the other phones then on the wireless network. Um, uh, I'm just trying to think this through. So you can you can use both products basically as you would normally use them. It's yes. just that the final the final camera or the final device that's sending the video is going to be your camera that you're doing your controlling and you're producing and you're directing with, so to speak. Exactly. 
Exactly. You can probably put that into words that make more sense than I just did. But basically, you can set up multiple cameras, unlike, say, if you're just using Live View and you plug it into one camera, right? You can set up multiple cameras. Yes. You can add your own logos and graphics and all that stuff, say, with one iPad or one iPhone, and then stream all that stuff, including the good audio that people put microphones into their cameras and all that stuff. And you can get people from all over that wireless, that, that Wi-Fi network, and then stream through cellular out to where you're going. So it's a way to take advantage of cellular if you're in a location that doesn't really have another option. Exactly. And uh, we actually even took it a step further at VidCon last year. Uh, we used the LU600 uh, and wow. we plugged in a Google Wi-Fi puck uh, to the LU600 and created our own little mobile Wi-Fi bubble, um, you know, everything running off battery powered. Uh, and we walked around the VidCon floor live streaming uh, to uh, either the Switcher Studio, Switcher Studio Enthusiast page uh, and interviewing, you know, kind of random people that we came across, just kind of giving people a tour uh, of the, uh, you know, of the floor, you know, if you will, people that have never been. Um, and as far as the, the stream, the stream held up extremely well and you know at vidcon i mean there's tens of thousands of people in attendance right. that are all on their phone always uh you know so you're constantly competing and and we you know we weren't dropping frames we had actually a very you know successful uh broadcast uh i will you know add a little caveat in there lu 600 is not <laughs> at a price point that everyone can you know can afford but uh, you know, ultimately the, the capabilities and the, you know, the possibilities are endless, right. uh, you know, having something like that attached to switcher and having it, you know, up to a nine camera shoot that's mobile. Um, so it was a lot of fun to kind of test out, um, you know, but even with switcher, we see tons of people just using one device, um, you know, and I think that's the the one thing that we want to, you know, ultimately get across and, uh, and kind of drive home to people that, even though we support up to nine devices, you can still make a super professional broadcast with one device uh, and control it with one hand, you know, put your own logo graphics, uh, you know, roll and B-roll video, intro videos, mm -hmm. uh, et cetera, all from, you know, one device and simply just holding it, uh, you know, holding it in portrait mode, but outputting in the 16 by nine landscape mode. Oh, wow. So uh, we're talking with Mark Goeth, uh, Vice President at Switcher Studio. Switcher Studio 4.0 is available. You can find out more information, uh, get a free trial, get a discounted subscription, all that good stuff by going to LivestreamDeals.com. Tell us about a few of the examples of people using Switcher that kind of you know, maybe blew your mind or just kind of like, wow, I can't even believe somebody did that or you wouldn't know it, but they were using Switcher for that broadcast. You know, what are a couple of examples that have come up over the last year or so that have, you know, really made an impact? Yeah, um, I think one of the biggest ones that uh, that we saw, and actually uh, Dan uh, Petrick and myself, uh, Dan is uh, one of our co-founders and, and kind of heads up our, uh, you know, our customer success and, and support team. Uh, he and I were on site in Atlanta, Georgia for a Golf Channel uh, event. Uh, Golf Channel is a, a client that, that we work with. And we, we use Switcher to produce live golf coverage uh, about an hour and a half uh, you know, each day over a three-day period. Wow. We set up an entire Wi-Fi network that covered a, a par three. So it was about a 230-yard par three. Uh, we had two cameras on the tee box, three cameras on the green, uh, and we had talent essentially that was there kind of announcing. And we were doing essentially a live stream production leading up to the televised production uh, and helping essentially Golf Channel create buzz and, and get people interested in the, the broadcast that was upcoming. Uh, so being able to do something like that outdoors uh, where we're not, you know, in a confined location where you, you know, the Wi-Fi was a little tricky. We used uh, Ubiquity gear uh, to basically beam the signal from uh, the green to the tee box and kind of create our own little Wi-Fi bubble. It was actually, you know, really amazing. Uh, I know we were, you know, Dan and I were kind of geeking out about it, just, you know, how well it worked. Uh, but uh, uh, 
uh, it was a really cool, you know, test and something that, uh, you know, that we were, uh, you know, really kind of glad to be a part of to kind of put Switcher through, uh, through some sort of use case like that. Well, I mean, it's great to see all the progress and all the uh, wonderful new developments with Switcher Studio. Mark Goa, thanks so much for joining us. Everybody check it out li at LivestreamDeals.com, Switcher Studio 4.0. Get, get the free trial if you haven't used it. Uh, use the link there. You can save money on your subscription because I know you're going to love it once you get a taste of it. And uh, I just want to mention a quick comment from Eddie Garrison saying that it's a great separator for Switcher, the ability to easily roll in B-roll intros, et cetera, uh, and connect with other streaming services. So again, LivestreamDeals.com. Mark, thank you so much, and uh, say a big hello to everybody back at Switcher Studio. Great to chat with you. Thanks a lot, Ross. Always a pleasure to be on the show. Thank you.